All right, guys. Today is the day. We're going to start back on my dad's car. Yesterday, we finished up with the semi truck. So today, we're going to work on the car. Um, hopefully, we can get it jammed out today. And then come back and start painting it tomorrow. For you, for you guys that don't know what jam out means. Basically, you do the door jams. And you do everything that's like underneath the hood. And behind the doors and stuff like that. And then we'll assemble the car. And then uh, paint it all. Paint, paint the whole outside of the car at once. So, that's the plan for today. I'm up, uh... Well, I say I'm up a little early. I got a video out today about that broker screwing me on $19. You know, it's crazy. I start getting to the end of almost getting caught up and I start getting nervous because I'm like, what if I don't have anything good for my footage? You know, that's that's kind of why I stay behind. That way, if I don't have anything good, then uh, I can just kind of pick through and pick out the good footage for you guys. But it seems there's always something going on, you know? It's like, dang, oh my God, I need a haircut so bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go by and get my haircut before I, before I get to dad's. But uh, yeah, so I'm like, oh man. I, I can I completely forget what happens most of the time and I'm like dang I forgot that even happened I completely forgot that broker screwed us out on $19 and that's why we had to go to New Mexico and then obviously you guys know by now we went to New Mexico and broke down which I can already see the comments they're gonna say I should have bought a newer truck well, here's a fun fact for you my buddy went out and bought a brand new truck and it broke down on him in 40,000 miles and he spent two weeks in a hotel room because they couldn't find the parts because it was a brand new truck. So it's not always good to buy new, you know, it takes them a while to come up with these parts, it takes them a while to figure out the bugs. Then you have those big giant payments, you know? If I had a brand new truck right now, I would be freaking out taking off to go paint dad's car. But since I don't have any bills, I can take off of work other than my house payment and insurance payment, stuff like that. But if I had that four or $5,000 a month semi-truck payment, and then on top of that, people go out and they buy these big fancy trailers. Man, you could have six, seven, eight thousand dollar a month payments on your rig, and then you're, you're, you you have to work. The system now owns you, and that's what they want. They want you to keep working. Anyways, I got to shoot over here to Dad's. First, I'm going to stop and try to get a haircut, get us some breakfast. Um, I'll show you guys what this paint booth finally, finally looks like blown up. Man, what's it been? Six or seven months? It's crazy. I feel bad. So much has happened. So much has been going on. By the way, I, I never got my money back for all of this. PayPal shut me down. eBay shut me down. My bank refused to help me, so eBay scammer got away. All right, we'll see you there.
Look at I mean, it came with rope and stakes. Yeah. I thought there was a room inside. Uh, yeah, there should be a room inside. Oh, you know what I bet it is? There's, well, no, that can't be it. I see tie loops, like you're supposed to tie something over there. Maybe there's more to it. I feel like they, you would put that on the grass, right? That thing ain't big enough to put on the grass. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to tie this thing off. Four of them? Yeah. I wonder if they're tire covers. I don't know. Look at that room blowing in over there. We're gonna have to put one down here. Well, this is what it looks like all blown up and we got it all tied off. Now this is what's called a uh, positive air booth where it blows air in and then filters the air coming out. A negative booth is where it sucks, it sucks air in. Am I, am I explaining that right? Yeah, so it have like a fan on like say one of these walls and it would suck the air from the booth and filter it that way where this blows air in and then pushes the the paint out, if that, if that makes sense. So we just have it blown up, making sure everything's gonna work okay. We still have to do some wet sanding on the car. Um, I'm pretty sure that big one is supposed to go there to give you your fresh air, but the little one couldn't blow the paint booth up, so we swapped them. Um, I might end up buying a bigger one of these so that I have a big one on both. It was? Yeah. I leave cords plugged in at my house all the time. Well, it is now Sunday. We started working on Dad's car on uh, Wednesday. It uh, rained like crazy yesterday, so we weren't able to really get anything done. I just showed up at his house now. Um, what is going on, phone? Show you guys what we got. We left the uh, paint booth out, so I think it got pretty wet. Ugh. So it looks like he's got it blown up, drying out right now. Today, the car will be painted.
You want to put this trunk on? Yeah. And that buffer just throws stuff everywhere. Well, hello there. It has been uh, two weeks and one day since I really talked to you guys. Um, we took uh, we took some time off of work again. I know. Um, the plan was was only like three days, and it turned into over two weeks of. So basically, we came home and we did the exhaust on the Mac. Well, then my plan was was to paint Dad's car. Well, that took so much longer than I thought. I'm not a painter, so it took a little bit longer. Two weeks it took to uh, finish his car up, and we'd already had it block sanded, and basically all all it really needed to be painted was wet sanded and then painted. But then we had to put the fenders on and the hood on and make sure I wanted to make sure everything lined up real good before we actually sprayed it. Um, man, it, it just took forever. And then we wet sanded and buffed the car. So it is mint. I'll uh, include pictures in the end of this video if you guys want to stick around for that. Um, I'll show all the pictures that we took. But uh, I think it turned out really good. Especially for somebody that's uh, only painted maybe three or four cars. Um, I'm a perfectionist. I do a lot of research. Um, some of my best friends used to work at body shops. So I used to hang out at body shops all the time. So anyways, we got the exhaust fixed on the truck. And it wasn't the manifold leaking. It was a V-band clamp on the turbo. And when Mac told me I had broken studs in the manifold... Um, there was no broken studs. There was one missing stud and all I did was screwed a new bolt into that hole and there was nothing blocking it. Uh, didn't have time to put the APU on, but I don't know if I told you guys this or not. When I was underneath the truck, I was doing something. I, I can't remember. It's already got everything ran back. It's got the, um, radiator hoses ran back and capped off everything. So pretty much all I have to do is mount the APU and then hook up everything that's already there so until then this is what I've done that's a um, a boat gas tank or what most people use but if you look up generator extender kit it, it comes with that exact same gas tank but they want like hundred and fifty dollars because they give you the hose and the cap so what I did was I took this cap apart and I tapped it and I put a nipple in it and I sealed up these holes in this cap so that it wouldn't vent from here. So basically what happens is the generator uses the gas, it siphons the gas out of this and then it vents from that tank up there. So I haven't technically used it. I did let it run in the, uh, in the driveway for a while and um, it started leaking like crazy at first. But that's only because the gas cap didn't have do you need some keys? Yeah. Lead is loading up the uh, rest of the truck. We've got uh, two loads already. Mason found us one picking up uh, at the place where we got our very first load uh, for the semi truck. Um, 
So we'll be picking up some pipe going to Mississippi, and then we've got one going from Mississippi to Tennessee. And um, I've got a guy wanting me to get up to Pittsburgh. Says he's got over a month's worth of work for me and that I can use his curtain van. So I need to call him. I've been super busy, but I need to call him. Uh, let's see, what else have we done? Changed the oil yesterday. Um, I wanted to test the oil, but I couldn't find the second kit that I'd bought. I found it after I changed the oil. So, I mean, I guess technically I could go back into the jugs that I had oil in and and check it out. I don't I don't know. Um, we did. Uh, ooh, I'm glad I came out here and looked. I forgot a pair of pliers out here. So I went to a couple of different places because what I wanted to do was just add one more nut on top of the nuts that the, the, the nut that's already there to bolt those on there. Um, I tried two different size nuts. Um, the threads just aren't right. One was really close. So pretty much what I have done is I have the bracket stuck on there, holding it with a zippy tie. And what I, what my plan is is to like stop at uh, like a Loves or uh, like a truck stop and uh, see if I can buy four four lug nuts off of them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But we're gonna load this truck up and uh, we're gonna go pick up some pipe. Um, and it's been a long time. Honestly, it's been kind of nice not having to worry about recording everything. I do enjoy recording stuff, but at the same time, I didn't record any of the dad's stuff really because um, the car stuff doesn't do very good on this channel. So I didn't want to take the time. It, it, when you're doing something and you're recording, it takes forever setting up the camera, moving the camera and having to deal with all that. Honestly, I was like, I'll just slap out this paint job and we'll be good to go. And that uh, that definitely wasn't the case. So let me finish loading up this truck and we are gonna get out of here. All right, we're all loaded up. Did I mention we're bringing Nate? So it's me, Nate, Lita, and Fat Bots. We just took her cone off because she wouldn't have been able to get in the truck. But if she starts leaking her stitches, oh, by the way, I don't know if I, I mentioned that. Um, only if you follow us on Instagram would you know. Uh, Nola had to have surgery on her leg. She had this like lump, this mass on her leg that uh, started to bother her, so we went and had it removed. And then the night before last, she ripped out her stitches. So we had to take her back. And. Uh, there wasn't enough skin left. I don't think there was enough skin when they stitched it the first time. So they just kind of wrapped it up and stuck a cone on her. I just had to take the cone off because she wouldn't have been able to get by the seat. So anyways, we're loaded up and we are going to hit the road. So we'll see you there.